Hey guys, this is Dr. JT, MD General Medicine and a part-time YouTuber and I welcome you to my channel, Dr. JT. Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk a bit harsh with all the general medicine residents uh, because you guys are making me angry. Many, uh, you know, general medicine residents are asking me how to prepare for uh, knee tests. Okay, well and good. I'll give you suggestions. But the people who are asking me are first-year residents. <laughs> wow. Excellent and hats off to you guys. Have you gone mad or what? You have been thinking all your MBBS about how to get a PG seat and now you are thinking about how to get a neat SS. All the first year PGs, I think you stop going to hospital and sit at home and uh, just prepare for neat SS. That would be better. What a stupidity. You have to plan your residence in such a way you have to acquire five important skills or you need to know five important things that you need to learn in your first year residency. But before I tell those five important things, a small commercial about Dr. JTM Med Spaces. Dr. JTM Med Spaces is India's first ever medical themed study space for all medicos and doctors preparing for all exams. It has seven designed comfortable seating areas fully air conditioned. And with free Wi-Fi, water and power slot at every seating. It has in-house cafeteria, relaxing zones and very special facility hyper mode room where three hour sessions will be conducted to improve your productivity. And finally, Dr. JTM Medspaces provides you free mentorship to all medicals who study in here. So don't miss this perfect, ambient, spacious place to study. Dr. JTM Medspaces is located in Hyderabad, opposite Gandhi Medical College, Metro Pillar No. 1037B. For more details, contact 709-583-75711. So five important things that you need to acquire in your first year residency is that clinical knowledge, emergency care, communication skills, learning from standard books, and you need to develop your personality as a general physician. Then you can think about SS preparation. So in first year, you need to concentrate on these five things only. Now you will ask me, sir, when should I prepare for NEET SS again? I know you guys are so ambitious. So I'll tell you the answer right now. You have ample amount of time in your second year because many of the second year PGs will be going to peripherals where they will be attending cardiology postings, neurology postings or gastroenterology postings separately. That's when the app time for you to learn those systems from different apps or from the textbook itself. So all the second year PG residents, if you ask me how to start your preparation for uh, SS and also uh, how you can go with different apps, then I have been using two apps that are really good for uh, neat SS preparation. That is Marrow and also Doc Tutorials. So if you wanted to know in depth about neurology or cardiology or nephrology or endocrinology, whichever system that you are interested in and then I think you it is better you start using marrow video classes because the depth of content that they are teaching is really good the way uh, I mean the approach the they are giving and the insights they're giving towards the uh, these uh, cardiology neurology nephrology is really good and if you are really concentrating or targeting the NESS then definitely you got to hear or uh, learn from those video classes uh, because the lecturers are really good uh, particularly I liked uh, nephrology part and also the cardiology part. Cardiology really uh, uh, amazed me and how uh, that particular professor is teaching. So if you are really into any SS preparation because that is oriented towards only one uh, subject that you have to opt. So you can uh, opt the video classes. Otherwise, first to study the Harrison textbook. Then if you have any doubts in particular topics where you are not understanding, then you can go and check out the Marrow video classes. And as you know, guys, that I have been using Marrow and I told you that I will uh, tell you if they have updated the QBank or not. Yes, they have started QBank. And uh, yeah, they have been updating the MCQs in that QBank from Harrison 21st edition. Uh, some systems, there are less questions are there, but they are timely updating and adding the new questions time to time. And I think that's uh, enough for us for right now. Uh, but uh, when they add more and more questions, that will be more feasible to use uh, the QBank. And also, as I always say, the MCQ part and the uh, test series as well as the grand test are always top notch in Marrow because the level of MCQs are tough to very tough. I think that's how we need to train ourselves uh, being a PZ uh, when we know that much tough level and also depth that's when we can uh, give a tough competition in these competitive exams and i don't really want to talk about the pricing because as a students we always don't really like whatever pricing they put it with but if you are going to go with the quality then you can definitely opt it and now for the final year pg residents i have been hearing that for like 60 to 70 percent of third year pgs who are going to give their exam in the next month or who have already given their exam have been preparing uh, for their final exams from myronauts bart 
Bharatiya notes, a uh, Preplator notes. Seriously, this will be the biggest blunder that you will ever make in your life during your PG residency. Have you gone crazy or what? Studying from that will just make you pass the exam. But the point is, you need to come out as a physician with real confidence. That will only come if you study from Harrison notes or study the entire Harrison textbook. And you guys are opting it the easy ways just to pass the exam, which is of no use. So when you come out of residency, you need to have confidence that I have learned something, not just like the bookish knowledge or the notes knowledge, but I have learned from the standard book that is Harrison. So if you have Harrison notes, try to read from that. That's my sincere request. And my final note to all the first year, second year, and final year general medicine PGs is that don't bring in this culture of study apps for SS early into your life. If you see our seniors and super seniors and super super seniors have prepared for this SS exam directly from the textbooks uh, on their own without any study apps and they have literally cracked the top ranks. So don't be restless that how to prepare for NEET SS or any SS from the first day of residency. Give some time for yourself. Orient yourself. Gain confidence as physician. That really matters when you come out of this residency. So that's it. Those are all the points that I want to talk to you guys, the general medicine residents. So I have been using Maru for like six months. So that's the points that I have liked. So so only uh, thing is uh, that they need to improve in some aspects where they need to add more uh, MCQs. But with regards to the test series, it is very good. So second year pages, if you are really interested in starting uh, any, any SS or NEET SS preparation, then you can opt with uh, uh, Marrow or, you know, the doctorals is also very good. Uh, but in depth, I have not been using just the test series is only where I have been using it. So I'll review it in another video if you wanted to know. But I think uh, this is all the points that I wanted to tell in this video. So if you still have any doubts regarding residency, you can always ping me on my Instagram and the link is given below. And also do drop your opinions in the comment section how well you like this video. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Dr. JTM. And I'll be back with one more great video. Until then, bye. Take care.